guys. Okay, so this is my New York City haul. So I'm kind of sad now because I'm back home. But I did come back from New York today and I thought I would do a haul for you guys considering I like watching New York hauls. Considering it's the best city in the world, I love it. It was the most magical experience of my life. New Year's, when the ball dropped, when the confetti, the best part was the confetti, it was magical. So I'm just going to show you guys what I got from New York. I went there for four nights and five days, I believe. So I was able to get a couple of things. So I went to Times Square. Um, I was like a minute from Times Square and the Forever 21 there was open from 8 a.m. to 2 a.m. So I was able to go at like 11 p.m. on my first day and it was so overwhelming. It is four floors. The Forever 21 there is four floors. That is insane. So I was able to go in and find a couple of things. Um, I was way too overwhelmed. So I didn't get too much, but the only clothing item I got from Forever 21 was some, like, workout pants. It's just, like, leggings. has this pink material. Because I have weight training next semester, and that is for a good four months. So I'm going to be in these a lot. So, yay! Um, but yeah, anyways, I got some rings. One... And I got a couple of rings. So the first pair of rings are these chevron rings, which are pretty nice. I like them. They're cute. They are just gold and they're just chevron rings. So it comes in a pack of three. And then I got these rings, which come in a pack of three as well. There is a orange one, a blue one, and a turquoise one. And then I got this little cat one. But this is for my friend, not for me. She took care of my bunny, so I got her a little something some from the best Forever 21 I've been to in the world. So, yeah. And then the last ring I got was these midi rings. It one's like a cat with a black rhinestone, and then the other one is just a gold heart. Right, so next place I went to was H&M. H&M. So, I got a couple things from H&M. One of them is in for washing because I did wear it while I was in New York. And it is featured in my outfit of the week, New York. It's a, like, salt and pepper cardigan. But I also got this dress from H&M. I love H&M dresses. So, when I saw this print, I was all over it. So, this is a floral print. And these dresses are fabulous. I love them to bits and pieces. So this is just black, sort of dark, and it's all floral prints. And I think it, it's a big statement just because it's fully floral. But I really like it. I really like it. A lot. A lot. I actually went to Forever 21 two more times. So, yeah, I forgot. I went to one in Soho and one in Greenwich Village, I believe. I'm not sure, but I got a couple of things. So, the first thing I got was this skirt. It's, I just pictured this with a black crop top or something. It's just this very, like, tribal Indian. No, nah, it's not tribal. It's, it's definitely Indian inspired. It has elephants. And it's just black and white, and it's a maxi skirt. And I think it will be very cute. I really like maxi skirts and Forever 21 is ace for them. I love it. I love it. And this was only 1580, so that is cool. T1, I got a unique piece that I think will stay in my closet for a long time. And I'm trying to get pieces that are not aren't necessarily like my style. Well they are my style because I'm gonna make up my style. Um, but I don't necessarily have in my closet, so it is this like maxi cardigan. It is super long and it is this tribal print and it has a hood so it's super interesting it's very unique and it doesn't really look like forever 21 kind of does but it's very unique and it'll be a cool style i don't know how i'm gonna style it yet but i'll think of something 
So yeah, next I went to Urban Outfitters and I got a couple of quirky things. One thing, I got this Way to Grow Long and Strong Shampoo. This is not your mother's, just a shampoo from the line, not your mother's line. So I'm pretty excited to try this out. Does it have a smell? Oh, that smells really good. It smells like... How do you describe this? I don't know. It kind of reminds me of just candy. Just candy in a bottle. It smells really good. And then I also got this book, which is really interesting. Um, funny I just said that because the book is called How to Be Interesting. And it really opens up your mind. And if you're a close-minded person, this will just brighten it up. And if you're very loud and obnoxious, it will just calm you down a little and open your minds to bigger things. And it's not a very heavy book. Like, it's not worded very much. Like, this is pretty much every page. So, I'm, I read pretty much half of this. And it is amazing. This book is incredible. And the author is Jessica Haggy. I'm butchering this. But it's an incredible book. And it was like $11. And I've already learned so much about this. I mean, so much about myself from this book, and it's incredible, and it's just a very simple book that you wouldn't think that would open up your mind, but it has definitely opened up my mind. So, this is definite read. I might just, like, I don't know. I don't know. I might pass this on to someone, because this might help someone else out, too. So, this is a really good book. So, if you guys see it in your Urban Outfitters, get it. Get it. Alright. Next, I went to TJ Maxx. And here I found a couple of cool things. I found a really good find, and I'll show you guys that after, but... Alright, so the first two things I got were just crop tops, and I'm really into wearing crop tops with skirts, like circle skirts and leggings, recently. So I got this crop top, and it's just pink. And... Yeah, it's basically just sheer on, like, most of it, but... At the front... It is covered, so you're all good. So this was only $10, so this was super cool. It's like a rosy pink. And then, naturally, if they had a different color, I got it because if they have my size, I don't remember what size this was. This was on clearance, too. So it's this taupey color, and I don't have any, like, crop tops that are this color. So I just envision this, like, styled, so... If I can envision this style somehow, I will get it if it's under a certain amount. Because I'm not paying, like, $30 for a crop top. That is unnecessary. Ahem, <sighs> brandy bubble. So, yeah, that is what I got from TJ Maxx. Actually, I forgot. I have to show you guys this. This is a great find my mom found from TJ Maxx. They were selling Uggs there. The TG Maxx actually looked pretty run down, but they had some good deals. And I found myself some Sorrells. And for Canadian weather, this is this is pretty good. So this is Houndstooth print, and it has this red, um, it has red laces, and I think it is super cute. And it says Sorrell on here and on the back, and. I don't know, and it just looks, it's super duper comfortable. I wore it out on New Year's Eve in New York, and I had, I walked everywhere in these, and this is amazing. I love these shoes. It's bonded with me. We have this attachment now since we experienced New Year's Eve together in New York, so yeah. This is the shoes, and this is $3 for this shoe for Sorrells, so I'm a happy camper. Obviously, I had to go to GNC, and I picked up some Quest Bars. You guys know my obsession with Quest Bars. And they had the new double chocolate chunk protein bar. So, I might just save these for when I have weight training in a month. Yeah. So, next, I went to Necessary Clothing. And I bought a very basic top that I don't know how I don't own this yet. But it is amazing. I love necessary clothing. It is beautiful. And this is just a black long sleeve crop top. And this is essential. I could wear this with my elephant skirt. You, you know what I'm talking about? And oh, it's essential. And it's so comfortable, guys. So comfortable. I am so excited to wear this. Like, super excited. Like, over the top excited. I know this is going to be, this is just a basic. It's a necessity, and this was 
but then it was like 30% off so I'm like hells yeah so the next thing I bought is from I don't know um oh Charlotte Rose so this was I paid I think $10 for this which is a really good price it's this burgundy circle skirt and I don't know how I don't own a burgundy circle skirt I don't know I'm obsessed with circle skirts and I don't own a burgundy circle skirt so this is another necessity for the fashion world so far for the style and you're not like paying $40 from American Apparel I look for deals guys I look for deals alright so I went to Charlotte Rue's the same place and I got this bubble necklace can we just talk about this bubble necklace quickly it's all tangled but I will fix that later but you can tell for the most part this is gorgeous this is a rosy pink color it's like oh, it's so pretty I love this rosy pink color it's just gorgeous it's just gorgeous and it, it'll just pop it's like pop it'll make any outfit gorgeous and glamorous you feel me next up is Target Target so from Target I got a couple of things not necessarily normal but actually let me go to Aeropostale for one second so I went to Aeropostale in Times Square and Bethany Moda was all over it it was incredible I'm like in awe that a youtuber has gone so far like Michelle Fawn they are incredible Bethany Moda and Michelle Fawn you guys are idols you guys are incredible Bethany Moda she was plastered all over Times Square at the Aeropostale and it was really cool so I went into the Aeropostale I didn't really find much but I found this really cool mini pin speaker so you just plug this into your phone and this would be a really cool gift so I might give this to someone but it is a pin speaker so someone who has an iPhone because iPhone speakers are not as loud as Galaxy speakers anybody Galaxy you feel me so this is cool it just plugs into your, where your headphones go in and it is a speaker isn't that cool I think this is fabulous let me just say from Target I got I got a lot of food items which are is in a different haul but I did find some cool things and I'm pretty excited about it so I'm going to show you guys the first thing that I'm I'm so proud of myself for buying this because I have seen this multiple times like 10 times or no I lied probably about five times and I didn't buy it so I bought this from the States we don't have it here in Canada I don't think so and it is a it's a 10 miracle leave-in product and I didn't find the one with keratin but I did find this one which it works really well guys so I'm super excited for this and it smells good too it smells like you're gonna have pretty hair with this treat your hair nicely guys treat your hair with care that rhymed didn't it maybe that was on purpose all right next I found these cute little like notepad things and they're wrapped so it's so cute so it just says notes and I usually just put everything on my phone but if I have something this cute maybe I'll write it down it has a little bow on it isn't that too cute and then I have these cards these are so cute this just says thanks and it comes with little envelopes and then this one is just gold it's just gold and it comes with like pink envelopes so I thought this was just it's just too cute and it was like in the dollar section and I'm like holla at ya holla at ya so the next thing I got this is one US that I have never found in Canada it is the medicated lip balm and this is the tangerine one from EOS so I've never been able to find this and I found it I'm not sure I think this cleat com cleats completes my EOS collection I don't know but yeah I finally found it which is kind of cool all right the next two things I got were Christmas socks because they were on sale I love fuzzy socks so I, I, I can experience Christmas all year long so these were like 75% off and I'm like 
I really like fuzzy socks and I really like Christmas. So why not? Right? Why not? Alright. Oh yeah, it's 10. Also came with a Miracle Hero Mask. It's a 10. So good. So excited. I also got Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. This I'm going to use for the summer. Does does this shit expire? Does this expire? I don't know. We shall see because I'm going to use this for the summer. Not really for the winter because this with winter coldness is not fun. No. Alright, so I also got two lip glosses from NYX because NYX is it's fairly cheap there compared to here which is like $9. It's like $4 there. So I got NYX in the color in the color, I don't know. Oh wait, in the color Tea Rose, which is a very like muted pink color. And then this one is kind of outrageous, but I like it. It is in the color Plush Red. Plush Red. It is a very plush red, guys. So I got two NYX lip glosses, which is exciting. And then also from Target, I got four movies. I think I got some more, but I don't know where they are right now. So I got Mean Girls because everybody needs to own Mean Girls. And I don't know how I don't own Mean Girls yet. So I got Mean Girls. And then this is my all-time favorite movie of all time. So nobody, my mom didn't know this. My brother knew this, but my mom didn't because me and my brother, uh, we went to this babysitter and she actually gave me this movie because we used to watch movies all the time and I would always pick this certain movie and my brother, I forget what he, she gave him because we left that babysitter and I'm not sure what she gave him. But she gave me Matilda on VHS and I got it on DVD. So this is pretty exciting. I love this movie with all my heart. It is such a good movie. It's a classic. I think it's so cute. The little girl is so cute. And I love the way it ends. It's just, oh, it's, it's tearing me up right now. It's tearing me up. It's really good. And then Life As We Know It. I think I've seen this movie. I think I have. I just don't remember. Um, my mom thought it was cute, so I'm like, let's get it. And then this one. <laughs> this one I had to get. 21 Jump Street. I just had to get it considering the new movies coming out. And I absolutely love 21 Jump Street. I will watch it 10,000 times. And won't get sick of it. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum. They're the perfect duo. I love them. I love them with all my heart. Alright, and then the last things I got were... I don't know where most of it is. Was souvenirs from New York City. And I don't know where my keychains are at. Don't know where my mom put them, but I actually I went to I actually broke my mug um, on the last day, well the night before, so New Year's Eve. I accidentally dropped it, and it's not even. I'm actually looking at this right now, and it's so uneven, like the eye and stuff. But this was a mug. My mom decided to bring it along. See, it broke. I accidentally broke it. It just dropped and it completely broke. It's a very cute mug. Um, but I sadly, sadly, I broke it. So I went out the day I was leaving. I went out at like 8 a.m. It's the day after New Year's. The streets were absolutely empty, which was amazing. But I, I wasn't able to find a sh like a souvenir shop. And then I finally found one. And I got a couple of things. Place my mug. I got a different mug, which is kind of more quirky and cute. I think it's just black and white, and it just says New York. And where the O is, it's an apple. So, I thought that was cute. And then, I got a couple of, like, things. I got some stuff for my friend who was taking care of my bunny. So, I got some pencils. It says, I love New York. And then I got this taxi pencil. And then I got 
some keychains and magnets. So I got this magnet. It just is a yellow taxi. I got this magnet that's just a pink and says I Heart New York. And then this keychain which is New York with black like scripture on it. Two more keychains. This one is just a like apple and it says New York in it and it has part of the skyline. And then I just got this. It says I Heart New York. And then I also got, oh my goodness, I almost dropped this, but it came in this cute little box that says New York, and it is a snow globe, so I bought this snow globe because everywhere I go, I buy a snow globe, so I actually already have one from New York, that is where I started my snow globe collection from everywhere I travel, and... I decided to get another one from New York because it's a different trip and I went for New Year's, like Christmas time too. So I got this, it's a Christmassy mug. It has Christmas trees around the time, I mean the skyline and it has a little yellow taxi with a Christmas tree on top. It is very cute and it's very magical. I love New York. New York in a snow globe. I really like it. So yeah, that is everything I got. I think I think there's more, but we're still unpacking, but I wanted to show you guys this before. I put everything away because my room is a crazy mess right now. So yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys like this, and if you guys want to see more, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me what you guys want to see. So if you want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.